two equal sums of money were lent at simple interest at 11% per annum for three and a half years and four and a half years respectively. If the difference in interest for two periods was rupees 4 to 0.5, find each sum. Here, sum is equal and rate is equal. Only the time period is varying. That is 3.5 years and 4.5 years. So, difference between number of years here is equal to 4.5 minus 3.5 that is 1 year. And difference in interest is equal to 412.5. So, for 1 year at 11% per annum, interest received is equal to 412.5. Because sum and rate are equal. At 11% per annum, for 1 year, interest received is equal to 412.5. 11 goes 3 times in 41. Remaining is 8. 11 goes 7 times in 82. Remaining 5. 11 goes 0.5 times in 5.5. So, 1 percentage is equal to 37.5. Then, 100 percentage is the sum here. 100 percentage is equal to 37.5 into 100, 3750. So, option C is your answer. If you have difficulties in doing this, you can directly apply the formula. Let us consider sum or principal as P here. So, difference in interest received between the principal P at 11% per annum rate for 3.5 years and principal P at 11% per annum for 4.5 years is equal to 412.5 rupees. Now, here this principal and rate are common here. Only number of years is varying. So, difference in number of years is 1 year. So, for 1 year, 412.5 is the interest received. This is because of the principal P at the rate of 11% per annum for 1 year. Now, if you solve this, you will get P as 3750. Now, the second question is, a certain sum of money was invested at simple interest for 3 years. If it has invested at a rate 7% higher, then the interest have been 882 more. Now you can see, because of the 7% increment in the rate, for 3 years, interest increased 882. That is, by increasing 7% rate for 3 years, interest increased to 882. That means, for 1 year, 7% is the increment in rate. For 3 years, 7 into 3, 21% is the increment in rate. Because of this, interest increased 882. That is, for 3 years at 7% rate, interest received is 882. Then, 100% is the sum here. 7 into 3 is 21. 21 goes 4 times in 88. Remaining is 4. So, 21 goes 2 times in 42. So, 1 percentage is 42 means 100 percentage is the sum. 100 percentage is 42 into 100, 4200. That is, let us consider sum as P here. So, sum P, principal P, at 7 percentage per annum for 3 year, interest received is equal to 882. So, 882 is the interest received for the sum P at 7 percentage per annum for 3 year. Then P is equal to 4200. So, option C is your answer.